Okay, now I will talk about the fit nine and resonator design, right? So uh, the fit nine, uh, what we want is to get uh, 50 ohm. So uh, first we will do analytical calculation. I will first use this uh, microwave 101 website to help me to find out what the width and spacing of the copanon wave guys should be. Uh, the substrate, I know it is very thick. I just put it uh, 50,000 unit. Uh, the substrate is silicon, so I put 11.7. And then the width, uh, I put 10 micron. Again, we don't need to put in the units because uh, it does not depend on unit. It only depends on the ratio. Right? If I ask it to analyze, it is too small, right? So uh, after a few trials, we find that it's about 0 0.8. Is that right? Uh, okay, somehow it got reset. 11.7 5,000 units and then 10 and then let me analyze uh, let me check again what is the width that we what is the spacing that we have uh, I can click on measure position right measure position click on here and then move to here right this is about uh, six micron about six micron so i will use six micron instead so i'm going to put six and then sit and then analyze this give me about the right i think it should be 6.008 that is what we use eventually okay so now it's wrong right it doesn't match well and if you keep trying it should be 5.8 Oh, 06 okay now then it is very close to 50 micron right so we lay out our uh, fit 9 with uh, 10 micron width and 5.8 micron spacing and that is uh, what you see here right now it will be coupled to a resonator we already designed the resonator and this is capacity uh, this is inductively coupled so it is short at one end and then it capacitively coupled to the transmon open and other end so this is a quarter uh quarter wavelength uh resonator right so uh we want to understand their coupling the q factor right we're going to do hfs simulation but for now we still want to use analytical uh, uh, calculation so we will use this website so this is a very good website i while i use it i should promote it also you can click on this paper. It is here. This paper uh, can be downloaded from uh, Springer. Uh, looks like it's open, so probably free of charge. You can see how they do it. But the nice thing is they implement everything here. So we just say that we want to, uh, the gap is what, uh, 5.8, right? Let me double check. Right. the gap is 5.8 and that's, uh, then the uh, the, the uh, 9 is 10 right so this part represents the transmission 9 okay from here to here right so you have input and output and then but now I'm going to add uh, coupling it to a resonator like what we see here right you see that then we have a space here which turned out to be free uh, free micron if I'm correct, click on here, measure position, right, and then come here. Point eight. I measure the wrong place. That's not here. Yeah? I measure the wrong place. It should be uh, the space. The the distance between them is a conductor. So it's here to here, and you can see it is free on the left, right? It is free micron. So I'm going to put free micron here. And then for the rest, we're still using the what we got in the uh, fit 9 because it needs to be 50 ohm. So we continue to use 5.8 and 10. Okay, so this gives us uh, the property, and I would like to use 11.7 for silicon. Substrate permittivity will be the same, right? So we, we kind of done, right? Now, if you look at the, um, uh, 
characteristic impedance based on its calculation is about 50. This is similar, similar to what we got from microwave 101, right? Okay, but one important now is that this is a uh, gap, metal, gap, metal, gap, metal. This is the uh, resonator, so I'm going to double click it. Then I will get this one. This is the resonator with the uh, input to output, right? And that is how they couple. So from here, I'm going to tell it how it is coupled. Now, first of all, yes, there should be 50 ohm. And however, at the T2, uh, at the T1 place, right, T1, uh, the, the impedance supposed to be short, right, because this is the output, right? So uh, if you look at here, right, this is where it got coupled, right? So here it should be short. So T1. And then the uh, the other side is open, T2. Okay. Now, how much is... So for the coupler, I, uh, I, this is the resonator, right? If you look at the layout, you see that it is coupled to here, right? The resonator is this thing, and then you have a session coupled to the fit nine. We need to know the length of this fit nine. The length of this fit nine is if I click on this and then I want to maybe go a little bit more into it, right? Uh, or maybe up to here. Uh, I don't know, maybe, yeah, I don't know which one is good, but I click, I mean, uh, just look at this stun. I would say it's about uh, 0 0.18. Let's say 0 0.18, how about that, right? If here to here is 0 0.17, 0 0.18 would be a good thing, right? So I would do uh, 0 0.18. So let me just put uh, 0 0.18, right? But then uh, how about uh, L1? L1 refers to in some coupler, you actually have more nice going to the other direction of direction after coupling, right? But we don't have it is zero for us, so I'm going to put zero. How about L two? L two will be the total length minus zero point one eight. And in our design, we actually uh, I did calculation before uh, we did four point three three eight, right? So I should have four point three three eight minus the the length which is 0 0.18, 0 0.18, right? So it give me 4.158, 4.158, right? Okay, so with this, then I get the uh, resonant frequency of 6.8 gigahertz, which is pretty close to what I want. What we want is uh, seven gigahertz. The quality factor, however, is not too good. It's uh, 24K, but anyway, this is what we get, and then we can keep refining it to design it.